Hi everyone. So it's often said as an expert session, but to be honest, every week I realize I have to learn something new. So I will be sharing some cool things that we've been doing at the Cutting Edge School. Uh, we basically help people upskill themselves. We help them understand both new things and complicated things. And we've taught AI to millions on YouTube through our videos, but our core strength is in offline trainings. And through offline trainings, we've come to this realization that people often perceive AI in a way which is very different from what we usually assume. And we have some insights from all of these trainings. Some of our clients also include Dubai Holding, the Ijada Asset Group, and these are some really, really big investors based out of UAE. And out of all of the conversations I've had, I realized that there are some patterns. And because of those patterns, we ended up discovering an unfair advantage for me and my team. And turns out that you can have it as well. And that is the ability to find patterns at work and then take the best decisions from whatever patterns you've identified. Because in the end, if you're good at spotting valuable patterns and if you're good at leveraging them, you will often be way ahead of other people who are not recognizing them on time. I believe that our future belongs to those who have good health, great taste, strong pattern finding skills and the vocabulary to describe those patterns. Because if you do not have good health, you will not have enough energy to actually implement what's coming to your mind. If you do not have good taste, you will often end up spotting cheap patterns to replicate. But once you have become good enough at pattern finding, you still need the right vocabulary to describe those through a prompt. Now out of all of these, the strong pattern finding skill is the one which is pretty difficult to learn. So how exactly can you improve your ability to find patterns? And how exactly can you improve your ability to take better decisions? And the answer is not one AI tool. It never really is. The answer is also not fancy prompting because we all know that even if you write a rough prompt, all of these tools, including Gemini, can significantly improve the quality of your prompt within seconds. So what really is the answer? The answer, in my opinion, is in stitching powerful tools together as workflows. And this is where Gemini comes into play. The combination of deep research and Notebook LM will be the strongest combination you will ever implement in your workflows, especially if your work involves a lot of searching, a lot of writing, and a lot of pattern finding. And this can be across images, videos, PDFs, whatever it may be. So instead of giving you a theory, let me actually show you what we've done for one of our clients. See, pattern finding includes two important steps. Step number one is accumulation of latest and relevant information. You basically do not want to waste your time going through multiple tabs and even then missing out on something which was important for your decision making. But just gathering information and reading a lot of content is not enough. So after accumulation, it is understanding what that information is saying to us. Because if you've read hundreds of books, but if you're not able to understand how is this specific information relevant to my personal context, then accumulation makes no sense. For accumulation, I have been using deep research and goes without saying that for understanding that information, I've been using Notebook LM. So the beauty is not in using these tools individually, but putting them together in a specific order. Let me show you a quick example. Step number one is, you tell deep research about what you're trying to do. So we had a client based out of UAE who basically invest in companies. It is one of the biggest investment funds in the entire Emirates. And they were trying to invest in Indian homegrown brands, but they're not in touch with a lot of people who consume these brands on a daily basis. So first of all, for everybody who's new, step number one is that you have to switch to the right model that allows you to use deep research. And in the prompt, you can basically write something very basic that I want you to figure out what are the top homegrown Indian fashion brands and what exactly are their product types, pricing, headquarters. The beauty is that even if I forget something important, deep research will actually help me create a prompt and actually make a list of steps that will help me make the most of my research. So even if I forgot something, I have an expert to help me fine tune all of that research. Once that is done, you'll get a result within seconds. And on the top right corner, we have three options. Earlier, we had export to docs, but now we have a new exciting option that also allows you to convert that entire thing into audio, which is called the audio overview. But let's just say, that you don't want to spend a lot of time listening. You maybe want to share a document amongst your teammates and you want them to figure out what this document means for us. The best way is to actually export a PDF from deep research and then switch to Notebook LM. When you do that, the game changes entirely. So on Notebook LM, you have the functionality to upload sources. It's basically all the information you want Notebook LM to refer from. If I go to my notebook and simply click on add, upload this source, 
that I got from my deep research as a PDF. I can convert this into an audio overview. If I click on interactive mode, I can be a part of that conversation. I can take the same information and create study guides out of it, a briefing doc, an FAQ, and so much more. But this is just the beginning because as we saw, the same document which would have either taken say at least four or five hours per person of reading and understanding is now converted into a very simple to understand mind map within a few seconds, which makes understanding and pattern finding really, really fast. So there are three takeaways that I want you folks to take back home, which will help you make the most of these tools. And I'm telling you folks, your mindset and the tool go hand in hand. The wrong mindset coupled with a powerful tool will give you average results. So you have to understand that never restrict yourself to one shot prompting. One shot prompting means that you write a complicated fancy prompt and you expect everything to get solved in a single conversation. No, please engage either through chat or through images and try to set more context and you will realize that it takes around two, three messages to actually come to the end point. Takeaway number two, there is higher leverage in stitching tools together instead of just using one single tool. Think about it. If you can learn something in five minutes, anybody else can also learn it in five minutes. The real mode is in your creativity of using these tools together in all these different ways and taking your own intelligence and Gemini's intelligence and put them together in systems and workflows that can help your company scale. And in the end, learn how to read without skimming details. I think because of short form content, we have sort of lost the ability to read and make notes. Anytime we do, do these demos, even for our offline clients, we often see a lot of our clients just skimming through the results of deep research, just skimming through the mind map. And they often feel that, oh, because we got it quickly, maybe it's not useful enough. But I'm telling you, every word is useful enough. So learn how to read without skimming details and trust me, you'll have a great time. In fact, we've made a very detailed video showcasing all the powerful features and use cases of Google AI Studio, Notebook LM and a lot more. If you scan this QR code, it will redirect you to that tutorial. So I will be showcasing you how we have been using Gemini for all of our clients throughout the world. If you go back home and if you have any doubts with any of these tools, you can always reach out to me on collab at the rate anshmara.com. Thank you so much and yeah. If you enjoyed this video, then do check out this video of the same series. I am sure that it will help you even more.